this episode is replacing the screen on the screen door. I've already torn the torn screen out. Feather decided to use good Saluki etiquette last night and go through the screen door. Um, but the part of good Saluki etiquette comes in when you go through the screen door to get inside of the RV, not to get outside of the RV. So, and she popped out the frame here in the corner, so I had to put a cloth over that and hammer it back in, got it all secure again. Screws are lost. I don't know where the screws go in on the edge here. Let's see if I can catch it. Yeah, right there. Screws go in there. And I don't know where they are. They're not there. But they are on the other side. So who knows? But anyhow, back to this. So I tore the screen out. And then there's the rubber stripping stuff. This one... Okay. If I clean it up, I'll never know how it goes back in. So I would use new, but I don't have... I had some. I don't know where I put it. So I'm just going to recycle this one and use it again. No problem in doing that. So I have a screen door thing tool that has a concave edge that once I get the screen cut and put back in here I can just ride the tool along the edge of this to pop it all back in. To get it out I am using a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips. The flat to dig in the corner just to pop out the um, stuff that holds in the screen, the rubber strip, and then I'll put this under that. Once I get it, a corner popped out, I'll put the Phillips under that, and then it'll allow me to ride down the rail to pull it out with. Okay, so here's the old screen that I pulled out, and here's a roll of charcoal-colored fiberglass screening. I would use the pet screening, but I find that the webbing's too big and bugs get in through it. So I will use the fiberglass. Besides, when Feather went through the door, she actually took part of the frame with her that I had to hammer back in. This is the screen tool that I will be using. bought this last year because her daughter also went through the screen door going back inside of the RV and here are the different functions it can do I am going to take the easy way out on this here's my old piece it's laid on top of the new sheet of screen fabric and I will cut just a little bit outside the edges, probably about a half an inch or so outside the edges of this. So, well, maybe even three quarters of an inch, just so I have enough screen left to get it back in with the rubber stripping stuff, whatever it's called. Okay, so my piece is cut. I'll go back over to the screen door and pull out the rest of the rubber stripping. I was trying to work from the top down, but then it, it dawned on me, work at the corner where there's a gap. So I can easily get the screwdriver under there and release that. See how it's coming up? Oops, not supposed to smack the camera. Okay, that one's pulling out. Okay, I can't do it with the left-handed very well, so I'll put the camera down. You get the general idea of what I'm trying to do. To keep track of my rubber strips, I will just lay them out on the driveway in the same sh formation that I took them out in. Of course, me being me, I want the track cleaned before I put anything back in, so I just dampen the paper towel and I'll just go along the edges and clean all that out and then I'll do the same with the uh, rubber strips 
and I'll clean them up before I pop them back in. Okay, I cleaned out the tracks. My screen door is filthy. It is really, really dirty. Um, I just got the RV out of the repair shop and I got it back in a pretty dirty condition. It dawned on me it will be easier to put this screen on if I tape it down at the edges. Don't make it real tight, don't make it real taut. Just kind of tape it and let the fabric a little bit loose so that you'll be able to work in the rubber strips. Okay, so I pushed in the strip with my tool and I will just ride it along the edge holding my door with the other hand to make sure it goes in the track properly. Really, I should be digging up my tripod so I can show you this better. But I don't know where I put it. So, but you can see. Then we're in. I'll go do one more go over it to make sure it's embedded deeper in there. I didn't get it very deep. I just wanted to give you a general idea on how to do this. Then we'll okay, I have the top in, one side in. I'm doing the left side now, and I'm finding that it's actually easier to kind of push it in with the flathead screwdriver and then come back and go over it with the rolling gizmo. So, so far it looks good. Okay, so I have my edges in. Left side, top, right side, and now I'll do the bottom. And what I have to make sure is that I have just a little bit of slack in my material so that it won't make the screen too tight, tight and tear it. Okay, and we're in. So now what I have to do is take my scissors and just trim the edges of the screen that are hanging out. And we will be finished with this project. It's a, not a tough project whatsoever. You know, one thing just leads to another. I couldn't find my X-Acto knife. Now I've got messes to clean up. I dumped my toolbox all over my rug. I got out my jewelry making kits, went through, dumped them, went through them. <laughs> now I have all this stuff laying around here that I have to put away, back into the, my bags, organize them again. Oh, always something, isn't it? And I went inside the house and my friend had this. So I will be using this to score the screen with because I found out it doesn't work well with scissors. You, they can't get to the edge and it just you have little pieces of fabric just sticking out everywhere and it looks nasty okay so what I will do is just score my material and pull it as I score it I have one of these I don't know where it is go figure okay my job is now complete we once again have a screen door. No more bulbs. There we go. Now all I have to do is clean up my messes. See ya. As a full-time RVer on a limited budget, you learn to do a lot of DIY projects, do it yourself, and you your tool collection tends to grow a little, but you keep everything you use because you never know when you're going to need something again. Um, you know, anytime you have pets, you're going to lose screens. Anytime you leave your screen door open, you're still prone to lose screens. Birds can fly into them, kids can fly a ball through them or what have you. It's just going to happen, so I'll always have extra screen fabric and my screen tool kit with me.